Hello friends, welcome to Tech with us. Friends, in the previous video, we have seen bubble sort is the simplest sorting algorithm. It just compares the adjacent elements and if they are not in order, it will swap them. And as we have already seen that both average and worst case time complexity of bubble sort is big O of n square, which makes it too slow and will not be useful in any practical application. This was the pseudocode for bubble sort we have already seen. If you try to observe it carefully, you will see a catch here. Even the best case scenario of this algorithm is big O of n square. Means even if we input the already sorted array to this algorithm, it will take the same amount of time just to find out it is already sorted without performing a single swap operation. Due to the nature or design of this algorithm, we cannot improve the average or worst case complexity. But we can definitely improve the best case complexity by introducing a small change in the previous algorithm. We can just introduce a flag and change its value in the inner loop if there is a swap operation executed in a given pass. In case there is a pass detected without a swap operation, we will immediately break the outer loop without executing the remaining passes. By doing this simple change, now our algorithm will handle the already sorted or partially sorted array in much better way. Let's say we have already sorted array. In this case, we need only one pass and the inner loop will execute for n times to check all n elements. So the time complexity now is reduced to big O of n. So because of this linear time complexity of optimized bubble sort, this algorithm can be pretty much useful for some application where the list is partially sorted or we just need to check if the list is sorted or not. So in conclusion, bubble sort can be optimized by stopping the algorithm if there is no swap executed in the inner loop in a particular pass. So that's all I want to discuss in this small video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like it.